Hey y'all, welcome back. Today's video is going to be about how I do braid downs for wig installations. Keep in mind, you will not see me do the wig installation because that is what she's going to do on her own time. However, I did shampoo her hair thoroughly, deep condition, I blow dried, trimmed her ends, and did her braid down. I trimmed her ends because right now would be the perfect time being that her hair would be up in these braids and that she will be wearing this unit. So as her hair grows, you know, um, it's best to try to retain the length because wearing a wig is pretty much a protective style. And, you know, we don't want to lose hair when we could be retaining the hair. So it's best to go ahead and trim, get that trim. Plus her hair hadn't been trimmed in a long time. So I just, you know, felt that this was the perfect time to do it. So now I'm pretty much asking her what would be the ideal place for her part in and how she plans to wear her wig and she's showing me where she would like her part to be placed. And I'm going to do the braid down with my Murray's Edge Wax which is my staple product when it comes to doing braid styles. And now I'm just asking her if, if I need to adjust the part and she told me that that part was actually perfect so I didn't have to readjust that part. Okay, so now we can proceed with the braid down for her wig installation. Because I know she plans to wear this wig for um, a few weeks, these will be some neat braids, kind of small braids, and they're going to be very, very pretty braids. And I don't like to rush and just throw braids in. I don't care if a person is going to wear a wig or not because they are coming to me to, you know, do this um, service and I'm not going to just throw any type of braids in your hair, even though it will be covered by a wig. I still want it to be neat because I want the braids to last. And I know, you know, when wearing a wig, some people don't even shampoo their hair or if they do shampoo their hair, they keep the hair braided. And I don't want the braids to come down easily. So this is going to be a very cute yet simple braid down for, yes, just a wig.
When I do braid downs, whether it's for wig or crochet, I don't like the back to be bulky because I want the person to be comfortable with how they um, lay their heads. So, in the back, I braid down, but I tend to connect some of the braids like I just did right there. I pulled the braid from the far left and put it to that one on the right of that middle braid. So, pretty much that is what I do. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And at the end, I will crochet in between the braids just to give it a flat ending. And that's pretty much it. I also want to say be careful when it comes to connecting those braids because sometimes you can do it too tight and although it might not be tight at that moment once the client um, put the wig on it could you know cause her nape to bump up and I just asked her to turn her head so we could see if it was too much tension and she said it was pretty much good as long as she could turn her head left to right and go down she's good so the braids in the back were not too tight and now I'm just finishing with looping those braids under one another and um, I'm using just a basic crochet needle and that's pretty much it simple easy fast and it won't be bulky so I had her do the test one more time move that head left right up down and she kept doing it and she was like yeah you know I'm good I'm like are you sure and she did it again so she's like yeah I'm good it's cool so now I just proceeded with adding a soothing oil and now I'm going in with my favorite which is the peppermint aloe by Design Essentials the soothing scalp tonic. And there you have it, a very easy, simple braid down pattern for your wig installations. Thanks for watching.